What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here, and today I'm bringing you another video. Now this video is on how to build your own custom Hackintosh computer. A Hackintosh is basically a custom built computer that runs the full version of Mac OS X, depending on which one that you choose. I'm using Mac OS X Sierra, the latest version, and everything is compatible in this build. So everything works, Final Cut Pro, iMessage, FaceTime, absolutely everything works, and it works flawlessly now there are a few requirements that i wanted i wanted to build this and i wanted it to be small and quiet so i went with a mini itx build and with a mini itx case it's a thermal take core v1 absolutely stunning case very very budgetable very cheap indeed i went with a couple ssds i went with a gpu a custom cooler a decent cpu and a power supply and overall it's just absolutely amazing i've had this for about a month now i've been putting this video off you know i've just had some issues and stuff and for some reason these uh footage that you're seeing on screen just wouldn't render out for me i don't know why it just it wouldn't import and stuff and i had a lot of issues but now i'm coming around to making it and i just want to share this with you guys this will probably be a three part video this uh, on screen you can see is the custom uh footage the the custom build the different components uh, me installing some and there are a few uh different videos and different clips of me installing certain things but there are some where i don't actually show you like the motherboard and ssds and stuff like that i don't show you in this video because certain uh things were really hard to record for me I, I couldn't get a, a decent angle um, with this case uh, to install the motherboard and you know the SSDs and you don't really need to see that it's just raw footage that I got um, just showing you you know the build and the case and whatnot so I hope you enjoyed this video like I said the components will be in the description below so if you do want to check them out go ahead it's not too expensive I think it was around 600 in total British pounds I think in America you can get the components much cheaper but for the performance it is just amazing you know I use Final Cut Pro to edit uh, most of my videos recently I, I used my macbook pro and i wanted to use it on the desktop you know i wanted a desktop computer but i wanted to run mac os x on it so i can use final cut pro i can edit 4k footage with my drone everything works i also wanted to run windows on it now the reason for that is so i can game i can game on it it's very portable it's very small i can take it places and still be able to game on it and to be able to game on it is, is just fantastic you know i can i can play most high-end games in 1080p on maxed out settings so that's great and just basically having windows is a lot you know easier to have on a separate drive so i bought two ssds one to run mac os x i'm running mac os x sierra the latest version of mac os x as this video is uploaded and i'm running windows 10 64 bit on the other drive so i went with an rx 480 just because it fit very nicely in this case it fits perfectly in this case as a matter of fact you can see uh, near the end of the video it just fits very well if you know about mac os x and about apple products they utilize the uh, AMD sort of terms of graphics. They don't use a lot of Nvidia stuff. They use a lot of AMD graphics cards in most of their devices. So I went with a 480 knowing that it's much more compatible and again all of the links are in the description below this just works for me it works flawlessly now in the start of the video you will see me using an intel stock cooler now that is because i went and bought out another custom cooler because the cooler was so loud it was just ridiculous now that's what i wanted i wanted it to be so quiet so as you can see on screen i bought the noctua cooler this is amazing it fits so nicely it's silent it's, it's so super silent uh, even under load editing and stuff it's still very very quiet and idle it's like the computer is not even on like in that small case i thought there would be noise there there wasn't literally nothing it is ridiculously quiet and this sapphire uh, this 480 is the sapphire nitro edition it has a led mode switch that's very nice you can change the leds in the case it looks very very nice indeed and the back plate on this gpu is absolutely phenomenal it's probably one of the best back plates i've ever seen never owned an amd gpu but uh from what i've used and from what i've gamed on amazing i couldn't ask for anything more it's perfect everything works in here fits very very nicely now the problem i had was cable management cable management was very very hard for me um, but as you can see it's not that much big of a deal um, on top it's mainly tucked underneath everything so you can't really see any exposed wires but i cable tied everything i tried the best as i can and overall it, it just looks and and feels very very nice so i hope you've enjoyed this video comment rate subscribe if you want to and obviously i'll leave everything in the description below and again i will make this into parts because i do want to show you how to set up and install mac os x 
on this custom build. This was just to show you the components I used and raw footage of how I put everything together. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.